Eva Marie Saint, a name synonymous with Hollywood's golden age, has left an indelible mark on the film industry. Born on July 4, 1924, in Newark, New Jersey, Saint began her journey in the world of acting in the 1940s. She first gained recognition for her work on television before transitioning to film. In 1954, she won an Emmy Award for her role in the television show The Number One Girl. However, it was her role in the classic film On the Waterfront in 1954 that catapulted her to stardom. Her portrayal of Eddie Doyle, the sister of a murdered longshoreman, earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Throughout her career, Saint has worked with some of the most renowned directors and actors in the industry, including Alfred Hitchcock, Elia Kazan, and Cary Grant. In 1959, she starred in Hitchcock's North by Northwest alongside Grant, in which she played a spy who becomes embroiled in a dangerous game of cat and mouse. Saint's work has transcended generations, and her impact on the film industry is still felt today. She has been a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, breaking barriers and paving the way for future generations of actresses. Her contributions to the industry have been celebrated with numerous accolades, including an Honorary Academy Award in 2016 for her lifetime achievement in the film industry. Saint's work has not only entertained audiences, but has also inspired them. Her characters have been complex and multidimensional, leaving a lasting impression on those who have seen her performances. Her ability to bring depth and nuance to each role has made her one of the most cherished actresses of her time. In an industry built on dreams, Eva Marie Saint has turned those dreams into reality. Her legacy is one of enduring excellence, a testament to her talent and dedication to the craft of acting. She has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of Hollywood, one that will continue to resonate for generations to come. Eva Marie Saint is an accomplished actress known for her work in film, television, and theater. She won an Academy Award for her role in On the Waterfront with Marlon Brando. You might also recognize her from North by Northwest with Cary Grant. Do you have a favorite performance of Eva Marie Saint's? Is there a particular scene that has stayed with you? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Perhaps you have a special memory or experience related to Eva Marie Saint. Maybe you've had the chance to meet her or see her in person. Please share your stories with us. As we delve into the life and career of this classic star, we'll uncover many surprising and touching moments. So stay tuned to learn more. Eva Marie Saint was born and raised in Newark, Ohio, in a family that valued hard work and education. Her father was a bricklayer and her mother a homemaker. Saint's interest in acting began in high school, where she participated in school plays. She later attended Bowling Green State University, where she studied education and theater. Saint's early exposure to acting came from watching movies and attending local theater productions. She was particularly influenced by the work of actress Katherine Hepburn, who she admired for her intelligence and strength on screen. Saint has also credited her college drama teacher, Henry Senander, as a key influence and mentor in her path to becoming an actress. After college, Saint moved to New York City to pursue her acting career. She studied at the Actors Studio with Lee Strasberg, who became another important mentor. Strasberg's method acting techniques helped Saint to develop her craft and find success on both stage and screen. In addition to her mentors, Saint's family also played a significant role in her career. Her husband and children have been supportive of her work, and she has often spoken about the importance of balancing her career with her family life. Saint's upbringing and early experiences shaped her into the accomplished actress she is today, known for her versatile performances and enduring legacy in the world of film and theater. Eva Marie Saint was born on July 4, 1924, in Newark, New Jersey. She was the youngest of three children in a Dutch-American family. Saint's father was a bricklayer and her mother was a housewife. Saint's interest in acting began in high school, where she participated in school plays. After high school, Saint attended Bowling Green State University in Ohio, where she studied education and theater. She later moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. Saint's early career included roles in television and on Broadway. Saint's breakthrough role came in 1954 when she starred opposite Marlon Brando in the film On the Waterfront. Her performance as Eddie Doyle earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. 
Saint's career continued to flourish in the 1950s and 1960s with notable roles in films such as A Hatful of Rain, Exodus, and The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming. She also continued to appear on Broadway and in television productions. Throughout her career, Saint has been known for her versatility and dedication to her craft. She has worked with some of the most renowned directors and actors in the industry, and her contributions to the world of acting have been widely celebrated. Saint's early life experiences, including her upbringing in a Dutch-American family and her education in Ohio, shaped her perspective and approach to acting. Her breakthrough role in On the Waterfront solidified her status as a talented and accomplished actress, and she has continued to captivate audiences with her performances in film, television, and on stage. Eva Marie Saint discovered her passion for acting in her high school drama club. She was a shy student, but when she stepped on stage, she felt alive and confident. She was encouraged by her drama teacher to pursue acting and went on to study at the prestigious actor studio in New York City. One pivotal experience that fueled her desire to become an actress was seeing a live performance of a streetcar named Desire with Marlon Brando. Saint was deeply moved by Brando's raw and intense performance, and it inspired her to strive for that level of authenticity in her own acting. Saint's dedication and hard work paid off when she was cast in her first major film role in On the Waterfront opposite Marlon Brando. Her performance as Eddie Doyle earned her critical acclaim and an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. From then on, Saint continued to pursue her passion for acting in a variety of roles in film, television, and theater. She has had a long and successful career, and her love for the craft has never waned. In an interview, Saint said, I love acting. I always have. It's a thrill to step into someone else's shoes and explore their world. Her passion for acting has shown through in every role she has played, and she continues to inspire aspiring actors with her dedication and talent. Eva Marie Saint is an accomplished actress, known for her work in films such as All Fall Down and North by Northwest. In All Fall Down, she starred alongside three Oscar winners and two nominees. Despite playing a leading role, she was listed as a supporting actress to increase her chances of winning an Oscar, which she did. In North by Northwest, Saint's character, Eve Kendall, can be seen carrying a purse from Bergdorf Goodman, a high-end department store in New York City. This is because director Alfred Hitchcock chose all of her wardrobe from the store during a trip to New York. Saint's portrayal of Eddie Doyle in On the Waterfront earned her critical acclaim and an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Despite the significance of the role, producer Sam Spiegel listed her as a supporting actress to increase her chances of winning an Oscar. Overall, Eva Marie Saint has had a successful career in film, earning critical acclaim and accolades for her work in various productions. Eva Marie Saint, the talented actress, faced many challenges in her early career. She grew up during the Great Depression, which brought financial struggles for her family. However, she was determined to become an actress and pursued her dream with resilience. Saint started her career on Broadway, but she faced skepticism from the industry. She was told that she wasn't pretty enough or talented enough to make it as an actress. But she didn't let that stop her. Instead, she worked hard to improve her skills and proved her doubters wrong. One of the creative solutions she found to overcome industry skepticism was to take small roles in television shows and commercials. This helped her gain exposure and build her reputation. She also took acting classes and worked with renowned acting coaches to hone her craft. Saint's big break came when she was cast in the movie On the Waterfront opposite Marlon Brando. Her performance was critically acclaimed, and she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. This recognition helped establish her as a talented actress in the industry. Throughout her career, Eva Marie Saint faced many obstacles, but she never gave up. She worked hard, remained resilient, and found creative solutions to overcome the challenges she faced. Her determination and talent have left a lasting impact on the film industry, and she will always be remembered as a trailblazing actress. Eva Marie Saint made her way to Hollywood in 1955, having already won an Academy Award for her role in On the Waterfront while still living in New York. 
This perhaps makes her the only actress to ever arrive in Hollywood with an Oscar already under her but Lieutenant. One of her notable roles was in the TV series Moonlighting, where she played Virginia Hayes, the mother of the character Maddie. The series often referenced Alfred Hitchcock films, including the iconic theme for Vertigo. Interestingly, Saint had previously starred in Hitchcock's North by Northwest. On a different note, Saint's son, Daryl, weighed 8 pounds and 8 ounces at birth, as announced in the Milestones column of the 4155 issue of Time magazine. Eva Marie Saint, a renowned actress, had several breakthrough moments in her career. One of her earliest significant roles was in the film On the Waterfront alongside Marlon Brando. Her portrayal of Eddie Doyle, a young woman who falls in love with a former boxer turned longshoreman, gained critical acclaim and earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Director Elia Kazan was impressed by her natural talent and said she had a rare combination of innocence, intelligence, and sex appeal. Another milestone in Saint's career was her work in the Alfred Hitchcock film North by Northwest opposite Cary Grant. She played the role of a sophisticated spy who becomes embroiled in a case of mistaken identity. This role showcased her versatility as an actress and established her as a leading lady in Hollywood. Critic Bosley Crowther of the New York Times praised her performance, writing, Eva Marie Saint is swell as the lady in distress. In the 1970s and 1980s, Saint continued to deliver compelling performances in films, television movies, and miniseries. One notable project was the television movie People Like Us, in which she played a woman struggling with Alzheimer's disease. Saint's performance was widely praised, and she received her third Emmy nomination for the role. Co-star William Fishner said of working with her, she's just so generous and present, and she creates an atmosphere that's safe and inspiring. Throughout her career, Eva Marie Saint has consistently delivered captivating performances, breaking barriers, and pushing herself as an actress. Her work has left an indelible mark on the industry and continues to inspire generations of performers. Eva Marie Saint, known for her role as Kitty Fremont in the film Exodus, was considered too old for the part at the age of 35 during filming. In North by Northwest, she played Eve Kendall, and it's said that director Alfred Hitchcock only approached actors when they made mistakes, which reportedly happened with Saint, Grant, and Mason. Interestingly, Saint had previously co-starred with Paul Newman in a live television performance of Thornton Wilder's Our Town on Producer Showcase in 1954. This connection between Saint and Newman further highlights her extensive and varied career in the acting world. Despite the controversy around her age and exodus, Saint's talent and dedication to her craft remain undeniable. Eva Marie Saint is a renowned actress known for her work in films like On the Waterfront and North by Northwest. She approaches her roles with great preparation, often conducting in-depth research on her characters and their backgrounds. Saint once said, I like to know everything there is to know about the character I'm playing, even things that may not be in the script. Her unique style is characterized by her ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and nuance. She once mentioned, I believe in underplaying a role. The audience should be able to see what the character is feeling, not have it spelled out for them. Saint's personal experiences and worldview often find their way into her work. For instance, in On the Waterfront, her character's struggle for justice and truth mirrored Saint's own commitment to social activism. Similarly, her portrayal of a woman caught between two men in North by Northwest reflected her understanding of the complexities of human relationships. In essence, even Marie Saint's artistic vision and process are marked by thorough preparation, subtle acting, and a deep connection to her characters and their stories. Her work is a reflection of her own values and experiences, making it all the more compelling and relatable. Eva Marie Saint has a strong connection to Bowling Green State University, having graduated from there in 1946. In 1987, the university dedicated the Eva Marie Saint Theater in her honor. Saint has expressed her fondness for Francois Truffaut's film Day for Night, which was released in 1973. Her mention in the 26th film Lucky Number no. 11 further solidifies her presence in the world of cinema. Saint's contributions to the acting industry continue to be appreciated by audiences and industry professionals alike. Eva Marie Saint is a highly respected actress known for her work in films like On the Waterfront and North by Northwest. 
She has made significant contributions to the film industry with her natural and believable acting style. Saint's ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety has influenced many actors who follow. Saint's performance in On the Waterfront earned her an Academy Award, and it is still considered one of the greatest performances in film history. Her co-star, Marlon Brando, reportedly said that she gave the most honest performance he had ever seen. In addition to her impact on her contemporaries, Saint has also inspired later generations of actors. Meryl Streep, herself an accomplished actress, has cited Saint as an influence, praising her extraordinary ability to listen and respond on screen. Eva Marie Saint has also been praised for her contributions to method acting, a technique that emphasizes emotional truth and naturalism. Her work has helped to shape the way actors approach their craft with a focus on authenticity and believability. Overall, Eva Marie Saint's impact on the film industry is evident in the enduring respect she has earned from her peers and the influence she has had on subsequent generations of actors. Her contributions to method acting and her commitment to emotional truth have left a lasting mark on the industry. Eva Marie Saint, born to Hoosier ancestors, made her film debut in Aaliyah Kazan's On the Waterfront as Eddie Doyle, a role she won over Elizabeth Montgomery. Kazan's autobiography reveals that the decision came down to these two actresses, with Montgomery giving a fine screen test, but lacking the gritty quality that Kazan sought for the waterfront race character. Saint stage and television experience secured her the part, and she ultimately won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her performance. She portrayed Eddie Doyle, a character who became an enduring symbol in cinematic history. Eva Marie Saint, the esteemed actress, leads a private life outside of her professional sphere. She values her family and personal relationships, often choosing to spend her time away from the spotlight with loved ones. Saint's down-to-earth personality and humility have earned her respect and admiration from both fans and colleagues alike. Saint is passionate about various causes with a particular focus on preserving and promoting the arts. She has been involved with organizations such as the Actors Fund, which provides resources and support to actors and entertainment professionals in need. Saint has also been a longtime advocate for environmental conservation, using her platform to raise awareness about the importance of protecting our planet. In addition to her philanthropic efforts, Saint's personal values and interests often inform her work as an actress. She has a deep appreciation for thought-provoking and socially relevant films, and has taken on roles that challenge audiences to confront important issues. Saint's dedication to her craft and commitment to making a positive impact on the world have left a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry. Eva Marie Saint, known for her roles in classic films like On the Waterfront and North by Northwest, demonstrated her ability to convincingly portray younger characters early in her career. And on the waterfront, she played Eddie Doyle, a character intended to be 19, despite being 30 years old herself during the film's release. Her authentic performance showcased her talent and professionalism. In North by Northwest, Saint drove a stylish 1958 Lincoln, complete with a Continental kit, an accessory featuring an encased spare tire above the rear bumper. This elegant white convertible became an iconic symbol in the movie, contributing to its overall allure. Beyond her on-screen talent, Saint has earned a reputation as one of Hollywood's nicest individuals. Both Ben Mankiewicz and Robert Osborne have praised her for her kindness, further solidifying her positive image in the industry. Her warm personality and dedication to her craft have made her a beloved figure in the world of film. Eva Marie Saint has had a long and successful career in the acting industry, with her talent and hard work leaving a lasting impact. She has starred in many memorable films, such as On the Waterfront and North by Northwest, and has worked with many renowned directors and actors. Her ability to portray complex and relatable characters has made her a favorite among audiences and has inspired many aspiring actors. When it comes to her future contributions, Eva Marie Saint has said that she will continue to support the arts and help up and coming actors. She believes that it is important to give back to the community and to help provide opportunities for the next generation of talent. For those who are just starting out in the acting industry, Eva Marie Saint offers some valuable advice. She encourages them to be patient, persistent, and to always be prepared. 
She also stresses the importance of staying true to oneself and not trying to imitate others. According to her, there's only one you, and that's your greatest asset. Eva Marie Saint's legacy in the acting industry is a testament to her talent, hard work, and dedication. Her future contributions will no doubt continue to inspire and support those who are just starting out in the field. By following her advice, aspiring actors can learn from her experiences and work towards building their own successful careers. Eva Marie Saint, a renowned actress, became a mother for the second time at 34, giving birth to Lorette Hayden on July 10, 1958, with her husband, Jeffrey Hayden. Saint's acting career reached new heights when she won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role as Eddie Doyle in On the Waterfront. Interestingly, she was the only nominee in her category for a Best Picture nominee that year. In North by Northwest, Saint played Eve Kendall, while co-star Martin Landau portrayed Leonard, whom he chose to play as gay and in love with Philip Vandom. Landau's decision was supported by both Hitchcock and screenwriter Ernest Lehman. Lehman even added the line, call it my woman's intuition, to the script to further emphasize Leonard's character. Landau's portrayal of Leonard as gay was a bold choice for the 1950s edit, and he faced some backlash for it. However, he remained unbothered, stating, I'm an actor. I said it wasn't going to be my last movie, and it certainly wasn't. Hitchcock appreciated Landau's performance, and left him alone to portray the character as he saw fit. Eva Marie Saint, a talented actress, has had an incredible journey in the entertainment industry. From her early days on Broadway to her iconic role in On the Waterfront, Saint has always been dedicated to her craft. She brings depth and authenticity to each character she plays, making her performances truly memorable. Throughout her career, Saint has never shied away from taking on new challenges. She has worked in film, television, and theater, constantly pushing herself to grow as an artist. Her ability to adapt to different mediums and genres is a true testament to her passion and innovation. One of the most enduring aspects of Saint's career is her commitment to telling compelling stories. She has brought to life complex and intriguing characters that have captivated audiences for generations. Her work has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and will continue to do so for years to come. In the end, Eva Marie Saint's journey is a powerful reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. Her ability to constantly evolve and innovate has made her a true icon in the entertainment industry. Her enduring impact serves as a testament to the importance of taking risks and pursuing one's passions, no matter the challenges that may arise. Actress Eva Marie Saint was nominated for the 2023 New Jersey Hall of Fame in the Performing Arts and Entertainment category. She played Kitty Freeman in the film Exodus, which included three Oscar winners Paul Newman, Eva Marie Saint, and Hugh Griffith. The movie also featured three Oscar nominees Sal Mineo, Lee J. Cobb, and Sir Ralph Richardson. Eva Marie Saint gave birth to her son, Daryl, just two days after winning the Oscar for her role in On the Waterfront in 1954. Eva Marie Saint is a proud grandmother to Tyler and Molly Hayden, born in 1985 and 1988 respectively, through her son Daryl, and Tule Beller, born in 1990, through her daughter Lorette. Saint is best known for her role as Eddie Doyle in the classic film On the Waterfront, where she starred alongside Marlon Brando. Despite being the same age, Saint played a character several years younger than Brando's character, Terry Mulloy. Richard Weigel, a New York-based documentary and short film producer, has been Eva Marie Saint's official archivist for many years. He has worked closely with Saint to preserve her legacy and ensure that her work is accurately represented and accessible to future generations. Eva Marie Saint is an accomplished actress known for her diverse roles. In the film Loving, she plays Selma, the wife of George Siegel, who is 10 years her junior. Previously, she acted as Eve Kendall in North by Northwest, where her character marries Cary Grant's character, who is 12 years her senior. In a humorous moment, a character jokes about Thornhill's need for acting lessons from the actor's studio. Coincidentally, Saint and Martin Landau, who plays the jokester, were both alumni of the actor's studio. In All Fall Down, Saint portrays Echo O'Brien, the sister of Warren Beatty's character. This film features a notable scene where Echo drives down MGM's famous St. Louis Street 
Initially constructed for Meet Me in St. Louis in 1944, Saint's career has spanned various roles and genres, showcasing her versatility and adaptability. Her ability to convincingly play characters of different ages and backgrounds has solidified her status as a respected and talented actress. In the film North by Northwest, Eva Marie Saint, who played Eve Kendall, discovered an interesting fact about her co-star Cary Grant while on location at MT. Rushmore, he charged fans 15 cents for an autograph. Saint's performance in On the Waterfront even earned a mention in the song Rattlesnakes by Lloyd Cole and The Commotions. Moving on to the film Exodus, Saint's character Kitty Fremont was dressed by fashion designer Rudy Jernreich. Jernreich's use of draping and knits in the film would leave a significant impact on 1960s ladies' fashion, particularly his innovative bathing suit design. The simple yet striking gown neckline and elegant beach shift worn by Saint in the cocktail party scene and on the beach are early examples of Jernreich's signature style. His groundbreaking topless design would come later, reflecting his forward-thinking approach to fashion. Eva Marie Saint, born in Iowa to John Merle Saint, and Eva Marie Rice from New Jersey is an accomplished actress, best known for her role as Echo O'Brien in All Fall Down. She shares this distinction with Carl Malden, who appeared alongside her in both On the Waterfront and Fatal Vision. At the age of 99, Saint holds the title as our oldest living Hitchcock blonde, surpassing both Tippi Hedren and Kim Novak in age. Her career and legacy continue to inspire and captivate audiences, leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Eva Marie Saint is a renowned actress, best known for her role as Eddie Doyle in the film On the Waterfront. In his autobiography, director Alia Kazan revealed that the choice for this part came down to Saint and Elizabeth Montgomery. Kazan ultimately chose Saint, finding her more fitting for the role of a woman raised on the Hoboken waterfront. Saint's performance earned her a Best Supporting Actress Oscar. In addition to her film work, Saint has also made her mark on television. This is recognized with two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for motion pictures and one for television. Saint is one of only 13 actresses to have won a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for a film that also won Best Picture. This elite group includes Hattie McDaniel for Gone with the Wind, Teresa Wright for Mistress Miniver, Celeste Home for Gentleman's Agreement, Mercedes McCambridge for All the King's Men, Donna Reed for From Here to Eternity, Rita Moreno for West Side Story, Meryl Streep for Kramer vs. Kramer, Juliette Binoche for The English Patient, Judy Dench for Shakespeare in Love, Jennifer Connelly for A Beautiful Mind, Catherine Zeta-Jones for Chicago, and Lupita Nyong'o for 12 Years a Slave. Saint's contribution to both film and television has solidified her place in the annals of Hollywood history. Eva Marie Saint is best known for her role as Eve Kendall in the Alfred Hitchcock classic, North by Northwest. Despite pressure from MGM to cast Sid Caris, Hitchcock was determined to have Saint in the part, and her performance was widely praised. Before that, Saint had already made an impression on audiences and critics alike with her portrayal of Eddie Doyle in On the Waterfront. This role earned her the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in 1955, making her the 41st actress to receive this honor. Saint's collaboration with Carl Malin in On the Waterfront was not a one-time occurrence. The two actors worked together again in All Fall Down and Fatal Vision, showcasing their strong on-screen chemistry. Even Marie Saint's talent and dedication to her craft have left a lasting impact on the film industry. Her work continues to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences of all ages. On August 29, 2020, Turner Classic Movies celebrated the filmography of Eva Marie Saint during their Summer Under the Stars Festival. Saint, born on July 4, 1924, presented the Oscar for Best Costume Design at the 2018 Academy Awards, jokingly mentioning that she was older than the Oscars, but only by five months. Saint made her film debut in Aaliyah Kazan's On the Waterfront, portraying Annie Doyle. Her remarkable performance won her the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. This role showcased her exceptional acting skills and set the stage for a successful career in the film industry. On the Waterfront not only marked Saint's film debut, but also her collaboration with legendary actor Marlon Brando. Their on-screen chemistry and powerful performances left a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike.
Eva Marie Saint in the film All Fall Down played the character Echo O'Brien, who was referred to as the old maid daughter of Annabelle Willard, portrayed by Angela Lansbury. Interestingly, Saint was only a year older than Lansbury in real life. Before her acting career, while attending Bethlehem Central High School, she was known as Bubbles and had aspirations to become a teacher. She was also a cheerleader and held the position of senior class secretary. In On the Waterfront, Saint's portrayal of Eddie Doyle earned her a nomination for Best Supporting Actress. The decision to nominate her proved astute, as the category for Best Actress that year was highly competitive, with Grace Kelly and Judy Garland delivering standout performances. Eva Marie Saint is known for her subtle and realistic acting style. She studied drama at HB Studio in Greenwich Village, New York. Saint's breakout role came in Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest, where she played the character Eve Kendall. Hitchcock had insisted on casting her, despite her being known for method acting and playing dowdy or put-upon characters. He joked with her that her character in the film didn't cry, as there was no sink. Saint's performance in the film was so well received that director John Frankenhammer cast her in his film All Fall Down as Echo O'Brien, and later in his epic race car film Grand Prix. Frankenhammer praised Saint's acting as subtle, realistic, and vulnerable. Her ability to bring depth and realism to her characters has made her a respected and admired actress in the industry. Eva Marie Saint is a remarkable actress known for her memorable roles in films such as North by Northwest and On the Waterfront. In North by Northwest, Saint's portrayal of Eve Kendall is so convincing that even today, People believe the set of the Oak Room was the actual location used in the film. And on the waterfront, Saint stars alongside five Academy Award winners and two Oscar nominees. The film is a testament to the incredible talent of its cast, with Marlon Brando and Eva Marie Saint themselves taking home statuettes for their performances. As of April 2022, Saint is the only surviving member of the cast of On the Waterfront. At 97 years old, her enduring legacy in the world of film is a testament to her talent and longevity in the industry. Saint's career is marked by her ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters, leaving a lasting impact on audiences and transcending the bounds of cinema. Her contributions to the world of film are cherished by audiences and industry professionals alike. Eva Marie Saint, the talented actress, is best known for her role as Eve Kendall in the Hitchcock thriller North by Northwest. Interestingly, Hitchcock was not satisfied with the costumes designed by the studio for Saint and took her to Bergdorf Goodman to personally select her wardrobe. At the time of winning the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for On the Waterfront in 1954, Saint was nine months pregnant with her son Daryl. She is one of six actresses to have been pregnant at the time of winning an Academy Award, a testament to her dedication to her craft. In North by Northwest, Saint's character, Eve Kendall, tells Thornhill that she is 26 years old. However, in reality, Saint was 34 years old at the time of filming, which highlights her ability to convincingly portray younger characters. Despite being in her mid-30s, Saint's youthful appearance and talent allowed her to bring the character of Eve Kendall to life. At the 1969 Academy Awards, Eva Marie Saint offered advice to first-time nominee Sandra Locke, suggesting a straight hairstyle and simple dress for her to wear. Saint, known for her role as Claire Hewitt in The Santa Bird, had previously starred with Locke's fellow nominee Elizabeth Taylor in Raintree County. In North by Northwest, Saint played the character Eve Kendall, and while waiting at Mount Rushmore, she and Cary Grant's character, Roger Thornhill, shared a humorous moment. Grant's character remarked that he didn't like the way Teddy Roosevelt was looking at him, a nod to his earlier role as Mortimer Brewster in Arsenic, an old lace where his character believed himself to be Teddy Roosevelt Tennant, the sandpaper marked the second time Eva Marie Saint and Elizabeth Taylor appeared together on screen, and the two actresses maintained a lifelong friendship. Saint's understated yet powerful performances in films like North by Northwest and The Sandpaper have left an indelible mark on the film industry. Eva Marie Saint has an impressive film career, with two of her movies nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. On the Waterfront won the category, while The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming was also nominated. In On the Waterfront, Saint's character, Eddie Doyle, 
was originally listed as a supporting actress, but her powerful performance earned her the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. Saint's work has been recognized for its cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance. Two of her films, On the Waterfront and North by Northwest, have been selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. These films showcase Saint's ability to portray complex characters and contribute to the overall excellence of the productions. Overall, Eva Marie Saint's film career has been marked by notable performances and significant contributions to American cinema. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the remarkable career of Eva Marie Saint. With a career spanning over six decades, she has made a significant impact in the world of entertainment. Her work in films like On the Waterfront and North by Northwest has left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Take a moment to share your favorite Eva Marie Saint performances or the reasons her work resonates with you. Your insights and experiences can add to the rich tapestry of perspectives that make up the film community. If you enjoy this content, please consider liking and sharing it with others who might appreciate the opportunity to join the conversation. Your support helps us continue to create and curate engaging content celebrating the creative spirits that shape entertainment. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more discussions and celebrations of the artists who have left their mark on the world of film. We look forward to hearing your voice as part of our community.